Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking about Veronica Hardy versus JJ Aldrich. JJ Aldrich is 13 and 6 to Veronica Hardy, who's 8, 4, and 1. Took a couple years off there for a little while. She's married to Dan Hardy. Um, and her last two fights, she's looked pretty good. You know, both coming off of two wins. Aldrich is 3 and 2 in her last five fights. Uh, Veronica Hardy is also two and three, or sorry, three and two in her last five fights. JJ Aldridge is a plus fifteen, basically a pick 'em there is one the one minus one thirty five for Veronica Hardy, thirty one to twenty eight, five five to five four, sixty seven and a half reach to sixty four for Aldridge. The one thing that I like Veronica Hardy in this matchup is just how tenacious she is. Aldridge does a really good job when it's a fight to where, like, you go, I go. I can dictate, but I can do what I want to do. You back up a lot. Aldridge doesn't do well when she's being pushed. Aldridge doesn't, even if she doesn't get finished, she's not doing very well. She's defensively pretty good. Not great, but pretty good. Um, she has fought some good competition. Um, she has only three finishes in her career. Uh, three finishes as well. She's been finished three times, two times in the uh, UFC. Has one finish in the UFC. A lot of decisions. Um, again, she's fought some good competition, though. Like, she fought um, all the way back in 2016. She lost to Juliana Lima, uh, Chan Mi Jian, Jian, Daniel Taylor, Pollyanna Viana, Barbara Finister, beat Lauren Mueller. Uh, lost Sa uh, Sabina Mazo, beat Courtney Casey, Demopolis Robertson, lost to Blanchfield and Lipsky, um, beat Na Liang, who everybody beats, that's the one finish, and then beat Montana De La Rosa, who she also trained with. Again, she's had a lot of uh, good uh, opponents. Veronica Hardy. You know, has three finishes, has been finished two times. Two times, both of them are in the UFC. Fought uh, Ashley Evans-Smith, lost to her back in 2016. Uh, lost to Andrea Lee back in 2018. And lost to Robertson by Renee Kachok in 2019. Took, uh, beat Pollyanna Viata by armbar, but then took quite a bit of time off. Fought uh, uh, Bay Malecki, who's no longer in the UFC. Took about three yeah, three years and four days off. Fought Juliana Miller, looked really good in that matchup. Then fought Jamie Lynn Horth, who's not great, but she also beat her by split decision. I didn't think it was a split. I thought uh, Hardy won pretty clear. So a couple things that are, are very noticeable. As one, uh, J.J. Aldridge has fought better opponents. That's just the reality. Two, the pressure and the output and the relentless just go, go, go for Hardy is what I think wins her this fight. Now, if you look at it, we'll, we'll take a couple uh, take a couple uh, looks at this one. So, yeah, Aldridge, Veronica Hardy. So, uh, average fight time is 13.36 to 11.46 for Hardy. Longer fights typically. Strikes landed per minute, 4.05 to uh, 3.27 for Hardy. Striking accuracy is 46 to 45. Absorbed for 4.5. 3 to 4.1, 60% defense to 46% for Hardy. Average takedowns is 0.7 to 1.27. Accuracy is 25 to 41. Takedown defense is pretty good at 66 to 57. And she does attempt some submissions. Now again, don't those don't necessarily tell the whole story because like <clears throat> in the uh, Jamie Lynn Horth fight for uh, Veronica Hardy when she fought her. Uh, let's see, distance, 69% for strikes right distance, 30 at the clinch. Um, <clears throat> Jamie Lynn Horth, which she was, yeah, Jamie Lynn Horth was 53 to 46. Veronica Hardy has a lot of output to the head, the body, and a couple, a little bit to the legs. Jamie Lynn Horth was a little bit more well-rounded in that aspect, 37, 46 to 16 in this particular matchup. Now, if you look, Hardy is pretty good with her output. 37 attempted, 33 attempted, 31 attempted. It's pretty dang good. Now, Horse was also pretty good with her output. 34, 33, 30, or wait, sorry, 30, uh, 34, 21, 32. Pretty dang good with consistency of strikes. Now, you know, again, that's just one, one example. 
Juliana Miller when she fought her landed by position 73 at distance 23 in the clinch three on the ground you know uh, Hardy was 23 strikes 19 strikes 35 strikes also had was four for four of takedown so a lot of control time at seven minutes and 36 seconds but even uh yeah in, in this one landed by target 68 to the head 19 to the body 17 percent to the legs so there's just a lot of uh, diversity of her striking and that's something that's really really good now with jj aldridge you know on this two let's let's do the two fight losing streak with aaron blanchfield aldridge was 90 percent to the head nine to the body Distance was 96 to 3. Output wise was 43 uh, attempted, 28 attempted, both rounds, 16 landed. Now, takedowns were a big, big factor. 2 for 6 for Andridge, 0 for 4 for Blanchfield. She had uh, 56 uh, seconds to 42 seconds of control time. So, again, distance wise, 46 to 96, 31 of 68. So you see this distance where um, Aldridge likes to fight. Now, she was guillotined, so I think I think that says a lot there. And then Ariana De Silva, when she fought, when uh, J.J. Aldridge fought her, um, 91 at distance, 8 in the clinch, 85 to the head, 8 to the body, 6 to the legs. Now, per round, 20 strikes uh, attempted, 29 attempted, to 40 attempted in round number 3. She was 0 for 12 on her takedowns, 2 for 2 for Da Silva, and this was a fight that, again, like I said, she had lost. You know, uh, Lipsky, which Ariana Da Silva now, but 67 attempted, 73 attempted, 64 attempted. So there's these moments where she can kind of be outdone, outshined in, in these. So now when she fought uh, Na Liang, 19 at distance, 2 in the clinch, and then 78 on the ground. She was able to get takedowns. You know, even though she allowed, she was taken down three or four times, one reversal for Aldridge, five minutes, 11 seconds. Round number one, uh, she's attempted 20 strikes, 45 strikes attempted, 36 landed for Aldridge in the second round. Now, again, that's the... That's when she was able to finish her, and that's all on the ground. Very good on the ground is, is uh, J.J. Aldridge. She's not great at getting the takedowns. Better than Hardy, yes, but also not her game. And then she fought Montana De La Rosa, which, again, she did train with her, so there's a little bit of insight there. Uh, 35 attempted, 44 attempted, 56 attempted. Now, she only landed at 46, 45, and 54% clip. Montana was able to, even if she couldn't connect, 55, 63, 86, 34%, 33%, 31%. Distance was 89, uh, 89% distance, 10% clinch, 84 to the head. So she definitely isn't as well-rounded. Point I'm making, Veronica Hardy, I like her output. I like her pace. I like her pressure most, most, you know, most of all. I like her a lot in this matchup. And as always, guys, subscribe, like, comment, and let me know who you're picking. Peace.